Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant. In this video we're going to have a quick look at changing the default font sizes in Visual Studio 2017. What you see is great. It works unless you've got bad eyesight. It really works and you need reading specs like I do. It's fine. But every now and again, usually once a week, you have to do a code review or whether you've got a client who wants to see what you're writing you've got to go to their offices and present it on a screen just fine you can always go with a zoom which is fine it works no problem everything works fine but none of these around here are different and then you've got your tool tips which can be a bit of a problem so why not make it a default so the way we do with the default is you go to tools and options and the first you go up to environment whoops and then down to fonts and colors and then it's got show settings for so if you click on that as you can see you've got a lot of options but first of all we're going to go with the text editor which is set at Gonzales which is a good visual font for 10 let's increase it to 12 so now it's at 12 that's fine that's good so now we can click okay unfortunately there isn't an apply button so you can can't see it and then undo but if we click okay as you can see everything's come up a wee bit bigger you can project nicely now but you're thinking all of this i need all of this and what about these your intellisense helpers so let's deal with them next so we go options again show settings for come down we need editor tooltip set on Sergio UI which is a good visual font set at 9 we'll set that back to 12 we'll set it up to 12 should I say not back to we'll set it up to 12 and click OK again and now it's up at much more readable particularly when you're doing a projection in a code review and everybody's going what's that bit for and you can say look there you go this is what I'm doing here so and then you've got all of this and you've got somebody at the back saying what's that so you can actually change the, the setting in all of these so back up to show settings for your environment fonts and colors edit tooltips find environment and it's set plain text it's set to automatic so the way to do that and at nine so let's find Calibre and we're going to increase it to 12 and then click okay and as you can see all of these have come up nicely including your tooltips save all etc so you can see what it is and you can show with clarity and it works down here as well as you can see even your properties window comes up nicely so the output window comes up nicely and your error list comes up nicely now if you've got any options and you've set them and you're not all that struck literally every single one has got use default button there just next to it just click that and it goes back to the way it was or should be click OK and everything goes back to how it should be you have to do it individually there's no way to do a mass reset uh, which is a bit of a pain in the neck but if you just go around and just and use defaults and then click OK and everything goes back to the way you want it or the way it default settings now occasionally you'll come across a, a setting which tells you you've got to restart Visual Studio for it to take effect. Just do that 
and it will take effect and then if you don't like it just do the use defaults like I say and then you might possibly have to reset but I've not normally had to but occasionally it's there so that's all for today folks have a great day and I'll see you next time